up in the morning to you laddies? My name is Jack Jacksepticeye and welcome to a game called The Stanley Parable. Now, this is a bit of a weird one because I know barely anything about this game. I heard that it was launching, I've seen a lot of people doing footage of the demo and a lot of people were saying that this game is really good and I've seen reviews that have come out and it's all like 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 5 out of 5 and they're all giving it such high praise. And they're saying it's unbelievably funny, and I ha I just have no idea what this game is. I've never even seen any footage of it, other than like the menu. I started watching a Nerd Cubed video, and he was like, "Yeah, it's superb. Go play it. Stop watching the video. Go play it." So I did. I went and bought the game, and here I am now playing it. So I thought that it would be cool to actually show you guys me playing the game for the first time, because I have no idea what this game is about. I have no idea what's going on. So. Let's just get in. End is never the end is never the end is loading never... <laughs> okay, that's a bit weird. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. I'm in control now. Okay, this is odd. But I love it. I love the music and I love the kind of narrative style. It's almost like watching a Pixar movie. You want any of these? No. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't even know no what type of game this is. No matter how Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Who <laughs> farted? <laughs> this computer's on. And now it's off. I turned it off. Uh-oh. Was I supposed to do that? Where is everybody? I don't like being on my own. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Okay, <laughs> he's just narrating what I'm doing. <laughs> Be my Valentine. No thanks. There's nobody here. I feel very, very isolated and alone. Just like the boy said. Nothing opens, nothing works. What's going on? There's a ladder going up in there. I want to go in and climb the ladder, please. This is really strange. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I did? What if I just choose the door on the right? I'm choosing the door on the right, because I don't want to follow your commands. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay, I think I'm beginning to see what kind of game this is. <laughs> this is cool. 
like, do none of these doors open ever, or should I just keep trying? Because it would seem that I can divert things and make decisions. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I did! That's what I'm doing. I'm looking at it all. What's this? I'm afraid of missing anything. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. <laughs> A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. <laughs> really worth it. Okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Voice. I'll leave. I want to close but the door. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I don't feel like following the commands. I feel like going against the green. Should I? What's in here? This place looks infinitely more fun. Okay, no. Screw you, voice. I'm going this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> He's making me feel bad. Do not lie if you are lying right now. Stop. <laughs> Reminds me a lot of portal for some reason. Oh, do I need a key card? Why are there cups everywhere? People drinking mugs of tea. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift a thousand dollars. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift five thousand dollars. But if you jump off, you will die. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, fall down here? stop trying to make... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? <laughs> Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. This is a lot like Portal. Now I know why people love it. Danger! Danger everywhere! Can I close the door? Close. Close the door. Okay, can't. This is this is good. This is fun. This is clever. I really like this. How how do you, oh now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna trust him this time. Because I like red more than blue. But didn't Neo take the blue pill? Hmm. What's that reference from, guys? If you don't know that, there's no hope for you. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? Yeah, I'm sorry. The problem dude. is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. Stop. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. This is crazy! Oh. The game gives you a lot of choice. I'm not trusting him anymore because I went around in circles. Okay, loading. Loading is fine. Loading's good. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. I have no idea. Is this space? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. Okay. I actually feel happy. Happy. <laughs> Are you God? Screw you! I'm not listening to you! 
Fuck the police! No, wait. Where are you going? I'm leaving. I'm gone. See you later. Oh no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. When I click, you can hear keys, like I'm typing on a keyboard. Like if I just keep clicking? So does that mean Stanley is still at his desk and he's just going through his computer and none of this is actually happening? Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Do I jump off and die? I guess so. Geronimo! No! Right. Oh, thank God. You lived. I'm okay. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? Why is there like a drawing of a little girl? Who is this guy talking to me? This game is confusing. Oh, and it's trippy as balls. There. See? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Okay, okay, just stop moving. Just stay there. <sighs> Breathe in that lovely darkness. Hey, where'd all the lights go? Okay. You told me to just stand here, that's what I'm doing. I don't trust you. What's happening? Am I back in the 70s? Okay, no, I'm going back down here again. Sorry! Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Uh, should I climb the stairs twice and try and kill myself? No. When I'm on, like, low health? No, no, what do you- do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? Give me some cookies! Cookies are the way to a man's heart. Whee! Stanley? Ow. Let's go back to the- My god. Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? Yeah. You're literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. Yeah, that, that's... I just wanted us to get along. That's, you that's actually exactly want happened. to stay alive? Or yeah, are you go just back to your stupid me? hippie room. I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish I still thought that was possible. Uh, pretty lights. Okay, I'll stay here if you want me to. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, though. Can I jump off the edge of this? No, I can't. Well, that's disappointing. Dude, let me leave. There's nothing down here, though. It's the same thing over and over again. Stairs time again. Are you not going to say anything anymore? Are these actual doors? Is it oh! over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Oh! And I'm back at the start. Okay, what the hell is going on? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, Stanley yeah. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I turned on subtitles. I'm so sorry that they weren't on before. It's a stupid mistake on my part. Really sorry. Awaiting input. Input received. Now what? Did I just like change the fate of humanity? All these computers are on. They weren't on last time, were they? This 
Does the whole game just reset like this all the time? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I'm gonna follow the guy this time. Left door! Where are you leading me to now? Why do some of these rooms have no numbers on them? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. Jeez, that must be the worst job ever. A whiteboard manager? Meeting room, floor 4XX. Targets. Push for funding for R&D of new coffee machine. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. <laughs> Hire somebody to fire the paper synergizing guy. Who moved my desk? Please keep targets on topic of... Oh my god. The future was yesterday. Tomorrow is now. Tomorrow. Complete today's unfinished agenda items. Write next day's agenda. Reflect. I'm not there. I'm, I'm employee 427, aren't I? What's this PowerPoint say? Please, no more charts, please. I'm begging. The boss appreciation minute. The boss! I'm the boss! And your boss appreciation minute worksheet, circle the tiny things you love most about your boss, fill out triplicate and return. Oh, sorry. Solving interpersonal conflict. If you ever find yourself in conflict with another diligent employee like yourself, but more inclined toward conflict and less blah blah blah, why did. Oh, I can't read that fast! What are your dreams for the future? Plant life, success, lunch, travel, metamorphosis, spring break. What the hell? Bi quarterly post review review. We need m money list reviews? 402 and 405 want to get rid of the death sport portion in the primary review schedule. But I think that's a stupid idea. More water coolers. More water cooler heaters. Charts need to be more hip. To appeal to teenage demographic, find teenagers to put in teenage demographic. Big net, some sort of child trap. <laughs> what the hell? To do, synergize core value expenditures, shift global market paradigm, monetize free to play. That's clever, monetize free to play. All free to play games are being monetized lately. Room closet. Oh, yeah, there's somebody in here, wasn't there? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. This is odd. Oh, upstairs. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I'll go upstairs. I followed the guy this time throughout all of what he's saying. See where he actually leads me. This is my boss's office? Damn, that's nice. There's no secretary. What's this say? Executive bathroom. I can't use that. I apparently I'm not an executive. I haven't climbed that high on the corporate ladder yet. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. How do I... why is there a dot? 2845? Where is the keypad? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Ah. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was to Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. <laughs> Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. <laughs> this game is genius. Now oh, where the hell am I? This is definitely a lot like Portal. Don't you guys agree? Although, if you haven't played Portal, then you might not know. What's down here? Who knows? Let's go 
down, apparently. Duke! Take me down, please! Far, far down, far away, down, down. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Is this supposed to, like, postulate the fact that Stanley had been working at the job forever until I came along and took control of him and wandered outside his office? That he was just inside a computer all this time, inside a game, waiting to be played. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Uh, I really want to escape, but I said that I'd follow the guy's instructions perfectly this time. So let's just keep following. I guess I am being mind controlled because I just came in here after being told to. What the hell is this? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Those are TV screens? I would so love if my room looked like that. Could you imagine? Although you need a big ass computer to run a game on all those. Cameras. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This is so like the Matrix! This is like the architect's office, and before with the red and blue. Oh, I just gave you guys the answer to the reference. Oops. Where's 247? 243, 245, 246. There I am. Employee number 247. That's me. And it's looking at cabinets. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? that his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I'm guessing so. No. I am 247, He I? refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Maybe? I don't know. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. And how does the guy go about doing that? I kind of want to push the big red button, but I, it might be bad. That might actually start them all up again, and I want to follow this guy's orders. Five? Mind controls idle, awaiting input. Now that's a screen that you'd want in your house. Look at that, that's bigger than my actual house. It's bigger than a lot of your houses. Mind control input confirmed. Is that what it says? And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Okay, so let's do it. And off. Everything off. And now it's total darkness. blackness, and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? I have no idea. I can't see- Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. 
unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley Outside. felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Yeah! Happy Stanley! That's what I want. That's all I want, ever wanted in life, is a happy Stanley. Beat the game! Yeah! So this is just gonna start over again? So to beat the game, you just have to go with the way that the game tells you to actually go. Interesting. Okay, well I'm gonna leave this video here. It's actually been going on for quite a while. I only intended to do a small bit, but it, I had no idea what to expect. I didn't know that it was just gonna repeat itself over and over and over again. This is a really cool game. This is exceptionally clever. This is really well made. And if any of you guys have a PC or are on Steam or anything like that, go buy it. Go buy it now. It's only, it's only like 10 euro uh, when I bought it. So you guys should definitely check it out. This is really interesting. If you guys want to see more of the Stanley Parable, if you guys want to see more of the decisions that are out there to pick, then please let me know and I will definitely do more videos on this because I kind of want to see the other outcomes myself and what answers they actually hold. Plus I want to get all the achievements. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss and high fives all around. But thank you guys and I will see all you dudes in the next video! Oh,